I should mention that the Fence Show is a part of the FWA, also known as the FWA, also known as the Fence Workers Association, or as it has an alter ego name of Fencers with Attitude. I'm a part of the Fencers with Attitude. Other people are a part of the Fence Workers Association. Teach their own. So the first thing you'll notice is the smell in the air, and it's the excitement. That's what that smell is, the excitement. Now, you're probably thinking it doesn't look like it's very busy, and we did that intentionally towards the end of the show so that we wouldn't be interfering with all the customers that are talking to vendors. First, right up here, you'll notice that yours truly has a booth. You might remember this guy. This is Cade. I'm pretty excited about this booth right here. It's been a lot of work. Really excited to show iFence to people, but you guys, since you watch the channel, you already know about iFence and how amazing that system is for installing no dig aluminum fence. Oh, these guys, these guys over here at Lion, you know what they did? Oh. So Sarah in our office, you know Sarah that ships all your tools and answers all your phone calls? They're sending her to Cabo. She won a trip to Cabo from these guys. Look, there is nothing better than line fencing and steel supplies. We send anybody to Cabo. Anybody? Anybody. <laughs> We're all Where are you guys out of? So we got a facility in uh, Riverside, California. Okay. And then just opened up in Houston, Texas about five, six months ago. Oh, nice. Ago. A lot of steel product. A lot like. of steel. Yeah. Not aluminum yet, but okay. working on it. And so this is all bolt together or? Yes, we have both. We have fully welded panels okay. where you've got brackets that sleeve inside. Yep. Yeah, and this is a big style I see a lot in yeah. Texas and California. In California. Yeah. Like I say, we're also now getting into rack wall panels. Oh, nice. If you need some good steel fence, talk to Lion. Lion fencing and steel supply. Maybe they'll send you to Cabo. This is one of my very favorite places at the show. Probably more technology comes out for automated gates and control systems than any other part of fence. So there's always something new. Now, one of the things that I've become a big fan of is LiftMaster's access control systems. For homes and residential use, this right here, if you don't have one of these on your gate, you definitely want one. All of our customers have raved about these, but this is a great product for residential installation. This is more your apartment complexes, and then large facilities is more of this. Something for everybody, but there's always new stuff and new technology for opening your gate more seamlessly. It's just a lot of lights, and it's very colorful, and it makes me happy. So just know that SWI has access to all kinds of technology for your project. I didn't even realize these guys were getting into cameras. Now, that's one thing that we have seen become huge in the last 10 years. So if you're a fence contractor and you're thinking about how I can expand my business, access control and security, like perimeter security visually, is a huge market. And you can see all the cameras behind me that they have available. And we even ran into these guys. Now, some of you might not have heard of Contractor Fight. I've heard of them because we have the successful contractor channel that also kind of helps contractors, but Tom's much better at it than I am. And this is one of the people that helps him out, Steve. We were talking about some of the problems I've had in Florida if you follow along with the successful contractor channel. And Steve just said, hey, you know what? You got to do better. And he's right. Wow. Here's what exactly were you telling me? Here's the deal. Everybody's really good at their craft, whatever that might be electrician, plumber, landscaper, but nobody went to business school to figure out how to run a real business. That's exactly so what I've said. Part of running a business is have a life, have a life at the same time. So it's okay to have a business, make some money and have a life all at the same time. That's what we all struggle with. And that's what we're here to help. Yeah, so if you guys need somebody, they do a lot of coaching, right? A lot of coaching, That's yep. what they do is coach contractors. So if you need some coaching, this is a great resource. Check out Tom Reber on YouTube as well as the contractor fight uh, and their coaching stuff. Thank Thanks for your time, Steve. Right, now here's some stuff you might recognize if you follow our channel at all. And this is something we're really excited to announce is that we have teamed up with X-Wire. As many of you may know, we used to sell Tornado Wire and there was some problems getting that stuff in the US efficiently. And so we've teamed up with X-Wire and Norm, who's right over here trying to hide. That's Norm. <laughs> Norm has helped us bring X-Wire into the U.S. and also we can in the same container get our strain right. So it's a win-win for us and it should make better availability of our products when we do run low, making sure that we have a constant supply of that coming into the U.S. Now X-Wire, if you'll remember, our videos of the UK fencers, if, if you remember our, sh our videos with Peter and Rory, both of those people were using X-Wire and spoke very, very highly of it. And that's what got us really interested in representing that product in the U.S. So look for that to come. And if you want some of the best wire available anywhere in the world, then definitely check out SWI and our X-Wire product that we're bringing in. What else is new? got an eight foot strainer board now. 
Oh which, man, that's that is an eight foot strainer board. We've been talking about that for a long time. We need an eight foot strainer board. I don't know how many millimeters that is, but I don't either. <laughs> yeah, we have all these products. Most of these products are carried by us, except for some of the electric fence stuff. And as we grow the market here, then we will carry more and more of that as well. So really excited about the strain right tools and products as well as the X wire that we will be soon carrying. So you're using one post yeah. and then using multiple different types of infill to achieve several different looks, yeah. whether it be vinyl, this is a composite it looks yeah, like, more composite there, aluminum infill, wood infill. And we've even seen guys actually screw just regular wood boards into the post here for semi-privacy. So are there spacers between these? Yeah, or? so you can fill the, the bracket. That bracket acts as a bracket to hold the top and bottom rail in. Highly customizable product. Cool. Well, cool. A lot of neat looks. Yeah. Snacks. Snacks. Okay, we got snacks. I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you, Mark. Thanks for your time. Now, this thing is something I've never seen before. I've been to a lot of shows, never ever seen anything like this. How old is this product? We uh, introduced it on Wednesday. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so, see, this is the kind of real time stuff you get yeah. when you come to these shows. You know, the California gate's been a very popular type of gate for years and years, but it also comes with some challenges, let's say. This gate, there is no overhead operator, so there's nothing that attaches overhead into the ceiling. So therefore, we can give you more clearance in a lower roof because we don't have the space needed for the drive overhead. Also speeds up installation. This gate comes in a 10 foot by four foot by four foot crate. It took three hours to get it where it is right now. So you can do a gate installation in three or four hours instead of three or four days. So it's basically bolt down. Six bolts per side, bolts it down onto the ground. The gate is operated with a ball screw activation system, servo drive system, Siemens controls. So it's an industrialized process. Basically the California gate and we industrialized it. You know, we hardened it. We made it into a uh, much more dependable product. Then also, you know, we can insulate. So instead of having pickets, you can have panels that are insulated. We can uh, logo, you know, the apartment complex or the individual owner or whatever you want to do with it. And we don't have any backslide area. We don't have any swing area. It's all up. So it works great in snowy climates, I would imagine, and too. It's all center of gravity. So is this 120 or is it DC? What we asked for is a 120 volt, 20 amp dedicated circuit breaker. And we're going to run about five amps. That's easy enough. Very cool system. Love it, Jeff. Thanks for taking the Thank time to tell us about it. Appreciate it. See? Released Wednesday. This is something a lot of you don't know anything about, probably, but this is a parking wedge. It's meant to be anti-ram, and so if somebody hits this thing, it's supposed to basically destroy their car. And they're just showing how you can sequence those with multiple different operators. So a barrier arm plus a wedge sequenced gate installation. So a lot of other cool gate operators. That's Door King. And I just ran into this guy, this Mike guy, and what he loves to do is he likes to put nails and stuff. Like if you die, he'll put the nails in your coffin. No, that's not what you do. But you sell tons and tons of nail guns to the fence industry, right? We do. We sell fencing staplers. We sell coil siding nailers. See we sell battery operated tools. Right? And we were trying to shoot a nail into a steel post because as many people know, we like to do everything on steel. We don't like to use wood. So right. that oftentimes means that we want to attach wood to steel or some other product like our donuts to steel. And these guys have nailers. They can maybe get the job done for us we sure and do. make it easier. So we can stop using self tappers, which are slow. Process so what gun was that that we were using this well, morning? It's actually over there at the Mr. Fence booth right now. Okay. It's a single pin concrete nailer, okay. but it shoots into steel as well. Of course, it'll do three quarter inch nails up to three inch nails. That was gonna be my question, like yeah. what lengths of nails? So what are some of the other guns that a fencer might be interested in? You have a... So our coil siding nailer, this shoots up to two and a half inch co coil siding nails. Mm -hmm. So it's great for doing your privacy fence, pickets, that sort of thing. Uh, easy to unjam? It's very easy to unjam. Um, Rebuild you know, parts? All of it. Yep, we got all the parts kits available. We have a select fire trigger, so you can go from single fire mode to bump fire, rapid fire mode. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice lightweight tool. Comes with a belt hook. It's very fast operating. It's a nice tool. And how are these distributed? Do we buy them directly through you or through your dealers? Or? Yes, you absolutely buy them directly through us. We're located in Atlanta, Georgia. So we ship and distribute everything out of Atlanta, Georgia. Great, great. Warehouse. We'll have to look at those. 
cards. So a fencing nailer, give me an idea what the cost is on one of those. So your cost on this is around 175. Oh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Any kind of warranty on those? It's got a seven year warranty on all the Freeman nail guns. So you have a seven years for manufacturer defects and you have 90 days for wearable parts. Okay. So any tool shop can work on our tools. They just need the parts, which we okay. can send the parts directly. You can also send them back into us and we can repair them and send them back to you. Or we can send parts directly to you to repair if need be. Or oftentimes, if you know if it's a warranty issue, we just send a new nailer to you. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Well, thanks for taking some time to talk you to bet. us and Absolutely. tell us about your nailers. Thank you guys so much. I don't know some of this stuff. We didn't even know about that concrete nailer till this morning. So, ooh, there's the fencing stapler. That's yep. our new cordless coming out first of the year. And how much is one of these going to be? It's going to be right around 500 ish dollars as compared to the other ones on the market, 800 or so mm -hmm. that are tool only. So yeah. we sell ours with a battery and charger for that price. Nobody else's batteries will work with this? Yeah, we do have battery adapters. Oh, okay. Is it 20 volt? Yeah. Well, thank you. You bet, guys. See, and that's how easy it is to put a pedestrian gate in your temporary fence if you're working with Z&D. Now, these guys are somebody I know because I went and toured their facility. They're up there by our good friend Ryan Sloop. Oh, I missed the hole. Okay, there we go. We'll edit that out. Anyhow, they're up in Statesville, North Carolina, where they manufacture this. And I think you're manufacturing out in the West so Coast, too. Though. So they offer a lot of really great products. And we use these panels in our operation in Florida. One of the reasons we like them is because it's really smooth. They slide nice. They're very well constructed, easy to fix. And this is one of the biggest features. I love you guys' clamps. Love the clamps. And then they have some unique products like these walk gates that you can easily add into a fence. What else do you have that's unique? Everything from stabilizers to weights. Try to be more than just a temporary fence manufacturer. We kind of want to solve your solutions that y'all have on job sites. That panel carrier, I wish I had one of them. I was carrying them and we're doing it the hard way and hurt my fingers. Hey, I'll get something out to you too soon. Just even silly things like this that make our life easier is what they're thinking about. So they're focused a lot on temporary fence, but they want to do, they want to be innovative and they've done a very good job of that. So behind us, you'll see this wind brace. So they've got wind bracing, they've got feet. Two different weight options, depending on what you want to do. Like the Oxford plastic, and then you can put cinder blocks in this. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. This isn't something I've seen before, but you're... This is something new that we're kind of looking into the market. So almost like another stabilizer. It's like a weighted, a water barrier, like stabilizer. I think it's kind of big in our European market mm -hmm. that we want to kind of test out here as well. Very cool. So this is a lightweight panel that we're testing that we want to kind of see what we do in the market. The wire might be a little bit different on the, our American version. This is our actual European model right here. It's about 35 pounds, but it's something we want to kind of bring to the market in the States and test as well mm -hmm. to kind of see if there is a market for here as well. So the one thing I like about these is all this electro welding and stuff for the corners. we got reinforced corners yeah, rather than just having this. Something that sets us apart. They do hold up well. They've even got sign plate spots on the other panels, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. So you can put your sign plate on them. So if you're looking for temporary fence, Z and D is a great temporary fence. Currently, you guys sell direct and through Master Halco, or? We mainly try to go through distribution. For yeah, so. Contractor world. Um, that is the relationship we kind of try to build. We don't want to ruin our market share and ruin the people in the market, so. Yeah. So look for a good distributor. Yeah, and we love your products. Uh, I've had really good luck with them, so. Absolutely. Appreciate no, you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Art. Good to see you again. Yeah, nice seeing you. My bad. I didn't know you were filming. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Do we get to be on the YouTube? It's your time to shine. Um, Hang on, wait. I have finished my chips. I'm just trying to get Carl off of everybody's TikTok because Carl is the mustache guy. If you're on TikTok and you're a contractor, you've probably seen Carl. Carl, this is a message directly to you if you watch. You're okay, Nicole's better. Oh, Mark, that's so sweet. And what these guys do, if you don't know, is they are your file storage for all your photos for your project. So guys don't like filling up their phone with all your project photos and then trying to share those with all your team members and it gets cumbersome. These guys have solved that problem and we have, I feel bad for them because we use it for everything. Like my pool project, you know the pool project on TikTok that I have going on, maybe you do, maybe you don't. That is all documented through company cam so that when I need to go back to my pool builder and say, no, that's not the way this was, guess what? I have pictures. You have proof. I have you have proof. 
I show up with receipts all the time. I love that. I so love that. what else do you guys do other than just pictures? You just do video, obviously. I mean, we do pictures, we do video, we do documents, reports, checklists, pretty much anything that you are doing on a job site from the minute a customer reaches out to you to 10 years after that project's done, we make sure that you are covered documentation-wise. A big deal here is the fact that for us, you integrate with Job Nimbus. Oh yeah. Job Nimbus is a great program. If you want to learn more about Job Nimbus, check out the link down below. But definitely check out the link down below to these guys because these guys will hook you up. And you definitely want to use that referral link that we have in the video down below because they'll just take better care of you. Because I have a personal relationship with Nicole, not so much Carl, but Nicole for sure. And they, they do such a great job of everything they do. Now, I can share all these files. Let's say a, a general contractor comes to me and they say, hey, I'd like I want to see all the photos you have. Yeah. Or can you give me some information and just share daily updates? I can share that with a GC. I can share it with a homeowner. Just that one project, right? Yep, just that one project or multiple projects. However you need to share those files, we make it super simple for you to do so. So whether that is a live link timeline that gives automatic updates to your clients or other third parties, a gallery where you can select the photos and videos that you share, or a more formal report, we do it all. Okay, now I have a problem where we use a lot of these photos in our social media. Yeah. Can I get high res photos out of company cam? Oh yeah, we actually have the ability for you to take 4K photos and videos. So if you wanna print those photos, if you wanna use those videos for commercial purposes, whatever it might be, you can do that straight through company cam. We just use your native camera. And if you're not taking photos of your project, oh my gosh, you are missing the boat because you'll want those someday to fight an angry Karen or to showcase your work on Facebook. All the photos, the more photos, and it's really easy for the guys to take photos. So. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. if they're taking photos just using their regular phone, they can use company cam. Plus we have unlimited storage, so you won't hear them complain, hey, I need more money to upgrade my storage. Nope, take as many photos, videos, everything. Company cam is not gonna charge you extra. And if you take them right there in the company cam app, they take up no storage space on your phone. None whatsoever. So this is why we use company cam and we think you should too. So definitely check out the link below and get hooked up with Nicole. Thanks Mark, great talking to you. So here's another great vendor that we know. This is Shauna Dickerson. Uh, oh, I want to say Dickinson, Dickerson. This is Shauna Dickerson. Duh. <laughs> this is Shauna Dixon, Brian Dixon's wife, who is the creator, inventor of all the BD Loop products. Now he's like the loop guru. Yeah. If you have a loop issue and you call him up, within 30 seconds he'll know what your problem is. I can almost guarantee you. We've heard it all. We get excited when it's something a little different. <laughs> he helped me solve a problem one time when we were putting a loop and there was an existing loop and we crossed the old loop and it caused all kinds of problems. He's like, oh, there's your problem right there. Like literally 30 seconds. But your products are great too and they have done some really innovative things like the wider blades so that we can saw cut through the pavement and not have to stack blades. And they've come up with a really great loop goop for sealing your loops in asphalt and concrete. Really innovative tools. Now this is a tool that helps us determine whether the detector is bad, right? Yeah, This so normally when you're testing loops, normally what you have is your MAGO meter and you go and you can test the loop, see is it shorting to ground. This tool tests upstream from the loop. So it says, is your detector working? Is your harness wire, has it been chewed through by a rat? Is your circuit board good? And so this checks everything upstream from the loop. So it helps you be more certain in your diagnosis. The loop is the problem. I think the loop's the hardest thing to replace. You mm -hmm. don't want to make a mistake on that. Yeah, so I don't have one of these. I definitely have a mega and I'll be adding this. Now that I saw it at the show, I'd never seen one before. So we'll be adding that. And then uh, I saw some, I forgot about the, the pizza cutter. The pizza cutter is nice for pushing things down into the cracks. Uh, we use both these loops. This one would be your saw cut loop. This one's direct burial. What is this tool? Is this just another sticker? This all comes together. Okay. And so this has to help you shove in the wire like in your corners. They come with this little clean out hook. So every time you saw cut into the ground, you always end up with like really stubborn pebbles and stuff. Oh yeah. This helps you clean it out and pull it out. And it also comes with our dock your corner block. So you can put that down and trace it real quickly and get your perfect 45 mm -hmm. degree cuts. And this stuff, so we've used a lot of goop and this, the big point is this tip. Well, that's where the money's made right there, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it fits right down in there with that saw blade and makes ceiling loops so much easier. We're real happy. This is 
our new formulation and it doesn't have issues with water. It skins over in about 45 minutes. It comes in gray or black. We're a lot happier with this. So I did notice that on some loops we just did where it did skin over and it got hard on the top a lot faster. And yep. yeah, that thing we used to do is we'd cover up the loops with toilet paper so people didn't walk through it and cars didn't drive through it. This is a lot better and we don't have that problem after about 45 minutes. So good job on your products. We use the heck out of them and it's great to see you here at the show. Yeah. Yeah, find more information about the stain or the thing. <laughs> so now the only reason I'm really here talking to this guy is because he's wearing orange and I'm very partial to orange but he also has a pretty cool software this is Justin Judy with ArcSight and he has a great software that helps people do what exactly helps people really streamline their estimating process so there's a lot of ways to estimate fence, right? But we try to simplify the process. So a lot of people will draw by hand, go back, calculate that into a material list, somehow turn that into a proposal in a different thing, send that off to a customer, and they're taking three to four steps to do one job. ArcSight is designed where you draw first and it does the rest. So your drawing calculates your material list and it creates your signable sales proposal automatically just based on what you drew on the canvas. Think of it like digital graph paper that is mixed with Excel spreadsheet. Okay, that sounds like really cool. Yes. How long does it take to set that up? That's a great question. Depends on the company. So we've had people do it in three, four, five days. And we've had people take six weeks. Just depends on how complicated your stuff is and how specific you want it to be. And if your stuff's in digital now, like say on spreadsheets, you have price books, much simpler. And I would need to create templates for every style of fence. Depends. Right? Depends what you sell. We have most of the popular stuff in there. We have chain link, vinyl, wood, aluminum. Most manufacturers, not everyone agrees to build the wood fence the same way. So you may have to tweak our stuff. But we can get you 80% of the finish line right off the bat for most residential styles and then chain link commercial styles as well. Okay. So you're really there to just help people streamline their estimating and get good accurate estimates. Yes. That's Materialist. 100%. Human error can be very costly in fence, especially if you're traveling long distances to jobs, you're doing big projects, you don't order the right amount of stuff, whatever, right? Computers don't make those mistakes. So we try to help both streamline the estimate process, increase profitability. So do you integrate with other softwares? Yeah. A lot of the popular stuff here, we integrate with MySalesman, Job Nimbus, QuickBooks. You know, a lot of the things that fencers are already using today. A lot of other CRMs and stuff too that maybe aren't as popular in fence industry specifically, but those are kind of the big three that we see a lot of people using. They'll use MySalesman to pre-qualify, they'll use ArcSight to sell on site, and then they'll use Job Nimbus to kind of work through the rest of the process. Yep. So we're big MySalesman people. Oh yeah. We're big job it. Nimbus people. Yeah, perfect. So I just don't know a whole lot about ArcSight. Yeah, I have. I know, I'm terrible. It's I'm okay. terrible. You are so a relatively busy human thank being. Thank you for telling me more about it. I Anytime. promise I won't forget. <laughs> and we should probably do a demo sometime. I'll reach out next week. Sounds good. There you have it. That's software for the real world. Now, what the heck is that thing? It looks very aggressive, very mean. I probably don't want that wrapped up on my leg. <laughs> but what does it do? This is the GeoRipper TA. TA stands for trenching attachment, and what we have here is a handheld trencher. Your contractors that already have a power head, a concrete cut saw, some of the most popular models, they can take their saw, we'll sell them everything forward of the engine, they can adapt it from a concrete cutter to a GeoRipper, a handheld trencher. Full-size trenchers can only get so close to a close area against a foundation, maybe a flower bed. You can take this and eliminate some shoveling. Perfect for loops and gate work, and anything else you need to trench. I can see this being really useful doing gate stuff. In Florida, we don't need anything super big, but we need to get it in there. This would be fast, and, and so fast. For, for repairs and mm -hmm. such like that too, where you don't need to pull out a big machine. Now I see on the background here, you have another machine that- uh, yeah, This is brand new for us. This is the GeoRipper Cyborg for Mini Trencher. This is a horizontal auger that goes under sidewalks or roads, driveways. Comes in two options. You've got the gas powered, the four stroke Honda, and we also have here the battery powered Makita machine as well. A couple of different setups with an auger from two inch to eight inch holes you can bore. We also have a boring point for wire and cable to go under the sidewalk. Man, that's amazing. Yeah, I think there again, I think driveways for loops and gate work when you need to get under a driveway, this thing would be amazing. The two together for gate work would be it, pretty- They work hand in hand, they do. And the nice thing is they're portable, they can go in the back of a pickup truck. And we'll drop a link right down below where you can see all this stuff. Yeah, hey, thanks for showing it to us. Appreciate it, man, thank you. Yeah, it now. You're probably wondering now, like who has the idea to put something like this on? And guess what? It's Brian. Oh, it was you. Oh, it was me. It says Brian, <laughs> Brian, Fred, Fred Aluminum, Fred Rickersons. I don't even know. It's this, this guy right here. Well, it may have been a crazy idea, but it happened. What, what's the T? Brian T. Thomas. 
I tried to call myself Mr. T as a kid. Brian I was Theo. hoping it was like Brian Theo. I was hoping it was something you could use against me. Let's not kid ourselves. So this is Brian and this whole thing, the FWA, the Finn Show, all of this was his brainchild. Not only did he do this, but the team behind him at your business oh, they did. are amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's incredible what he pulled off yeah. and really cool to see all of the things that have come together here. Yeah. The support and, and the encouragement from everybody as yeah. well. The encouragement you gave me throughout the year was awesome and it turned out better than I thought. Yeah. And uh, like I'm going to keep saying it. Wait till you see 2024. It's going to look like an 8 2023 show. Yeah, we, we laughed. We cried. We did it all. There were showgirls. There were people on balls. There was just like, there was so much going on. It's been up and down. It's been yeah. up and down, but it was a lot of excitement. Every time I turned around, there was something that I didn't even know was going to happen. So it was it was fun. It was fun. So next year, we'll be back and it'll be even better. So Even better. Yeah. Stay be better. tuned. But this is the guy that really has all of us as fence contractors in mind when he did this. It was my team. They're freaking amazing. So yeah. big thanks to you, Brian. Thanks for doing thanks, this. Man. Thanks. Appreciate everything. It was a great show. Next Take year. Easy, hey, Mr. Clean. What's that? I was going to put you on camera. Yeah. But just le lean that back up over there real quick. Man, I'm running out of time, but luckily I did find Mr. Clean. I was just going for anything where the guy doesn't have hair. Okay. This is not Mr. Clean. This is Brett Richardson. He has fence track. Now this is a guy that does what we do and he's an innovator. He is the first person that brought the horizontal fences to the market, really. Giant picture frame, put what you want in it. Welded wire, composite, wood, vinyl. So yeah, you can be your own designer with this frame system. First stuff we all recognize is the, the wood infill. Like mm -hmm. you got, this is what puts you on the map is right. putting the cedar inside the aluminum. That's where we started. Now we've got our own composite board called LuxCore. What's crazy about LuxCore? has an aluminum insert in it to keep uh, it from warping in the heat because mm. we did find out a lot of these composite boards will warp if they're in a floating system. That way you can do it. With Man, that's that. that's important right there. Yeah. So this is the guy, if you've seen a horizontal fence and it was aluminum on both ends, is it aluminum or steel? Our gates are aluminum, but this is all galvanized steel and powder coated. Powder coated steel. So if you've seen anything in the last 10 years, it's probably this guy's product. It was his brainchild and it's become super popular. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. I think we created a demand for this clean look and, and it's something that is built to last, last forever. And I'm stoked to, I want to get down with you this winter and I want to put the airboat to it. Yeah, we want to we wanna wind test some stuff. But I have one request. What's that? Can I have a lab coat? We'll get a special one that has your name on it. Okay. This is on video now. I mean, I have to. That's why I did it. Look for that video sometime next winter when we're Florida. yeah when we're a little slower and he Florida wants to go to Florida. Florida. <laughs> Thanks for showing it to me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Man, it's about time to... Well, I don't think we have to clean up yet. We'll see who else is out. <sighs> oh, man. This has been a tough show and I can't think of a better place to relax than in orange. Now this is why I love orange, but let me tell you, you probably recognize a lot of this stuff in this booth and that's because we don't have one of these and one of those. It's like we have four of these and four of those. These guys are the ones that produce that. So the company that makes all this stuff is called Easy G Manufacturing and we have been talking with Thad for more than a decade. My first piece of orange equipment would have been a fence hog like this one and what time savers this stuff is. So what all you build, you don't just build stuff for the fence industry, you got your start doing masonry stuff, Correct. didn't you? So the owner of our company started with a masonry company and it came up with a new way to fill masonry block. It's called a grout hog. So we got a line of equipment for the masonry industry. Obviously now with the fencing industry, we're also in the hardscape industry, refractory precast. We do custom fabrication. We have a line of concrete pumps as well. Hmm. Really evolved over the last 20 years that I've been with. And the fact that it's orange, I like. I never lose this stuff on the job site. So the owner of the company is a Cincinnati Bengals fan. Orange and black, that's where it came from. It makes perfect sense. Well, we appreciate the products that you bring. Now we can get these fence hogs in the great big version here, which takes a three foot roll, or we can get them in the mini version for the MT-85 or just 50 foot rolls. We even have the one that does 12 foot tall. And then you have the mixing buckets for the big machines, mixing buckets for the little machines, the big dispenser bucket, which we love. I'll tell you what, the concrete drivers, when they pull up to our job site and they're like, like we're at the bottom, they do not want to pour fence post holes. Yep. Then we show up with equipment and they're like, dude, we love you guys. Get this is amazing. Quicker, right? Oh, so much faster. Yeah. And they don't have to drive around and spill concrete all over the place. Those are amazing. I would not be on a job site pouring concrete without one of those. Yeah. And then you have the stretch and go, which stretches all your woven and barbed wire fences. And off in the corner, you can see the barbed wire hog. And that again, 
takes doing barbed wire, something that would have taken 40 hours, we can easily cut that into maybe a half a day project. Yeah. We love the fact that you save us time and effort right. and anything you, you can do, do to make us. our life easier, we appreciate it. Thank you. These save a lot of backbreaking labor, let me tell you. Oh, we're shooting some content. Oh, we're shooting content. So don't key, mess baby. it up. So I'm here with Chapman. Now Chapman, we do business with you guys, mm -hmm. but tell people what exactly One Tap Connect is and why it can change your life. Because I know, <laughs> but I want to see if you know. Absolutely. One Tap Connect, first and foremost, is a prospecting system designed to grab the attention of your ideal customer. Now it's quick, it's simple, and it's all mobile based. I think we can all agree everybody's on their phone these days. 100%. So when they ask you the classic, give me your business card, I'll follow up. What are they really saying? They're saying, I just need something I can throw in my wallet that and forget about. <laughs> That's right. So when that happens to you and you're a one tap connect client, you get out your smart card. You simply tap the phone and a link appears. When the customer clicks the link, they are going to be looking at your own custom microsite. Now wait just a second. Can we do that again? That site, that site's garbage. Hang on, I got a better one. I got a better one. Can we use this site? Yes, we sure can. Can we use this site? Boom. Man, who is that guy? Who is this good looking stud right there? Loading up a little bit. Boom. Hey. There he is in the flesh. So what do we got here for him? We've got all of his contact information first. How to call him, text him, email him, links to all of his social media. But as you scroll down, Mr. Customer, here's a video on the company explaining exactly what you do, who you are, and how you can service that customer. Scrolling down further, we've got links, instant, online quote, financing. We are also on Pinterest, my man. All of the services that they provide, testimonials, and a photo gallery of all of their work. Look at that. It's all of his truth, his proof, and his authenticity that he can deliver on the job. So instead of handing somebody a business card and saying, hey, I hope you pay attention to this, now they get all that information from a web page and they can easily access my contact information and see what we do. There is so much more information on that than there is just a simple little business card. It's a world of difference. That's right. That's why we do it. And all of our people that interact with our customers, they all have one tap connect. And I would encourage you to take a good hard look at it if you're serious about elevating your brand and making sure people know what you do and how you go about doing it. All right. I appreciate hey, you being a thanks for your us. time. Thank thanks, you. Chapman. We'll put a link down below so that you guys can see how to get connected with One Tap Connect. I highly suggest you click on that link if you want the best care possible. <laughs> All right, guys. Did thanks. You probably didn't know this. You know a lot of things are in the cloud, and guess what else is in the cloud now? Fences. Fences are now in the cloud, and. This is Julie, and I want her to tell you about what Fence Cloud is, because it's not literally fences in the cloud. Kind of. But what is Fence Cloud? So, Fence Cloud is an all in one estimating program specifically for the fencing industry. So, we actually work with the suppliers and the distributors to create the estimating engines for you. So, when you get in here on day one, you can immediately start estimating with their products. Not only can you start estimating with them, but when they do a material update to their catalog, you can get those updates straight through your Fence Cloud account. And then once you get that material breakdown, you've also got your shop drawings, your gate cut sheets, everything that you need in order to sell that job. Contracts, e-signature, documents, your bill of materials is ready to go, your pull and return list, everything that you need to sell that job is ready right in Fence Cloud. Now, some of these people might not know, but you guys started out as CFS, which is the computer fence system. That is the system I'm currently on. And my number one thing for probably 10 years with Ray, the old owner, was, hey, we really want you to get this thing in the cloud. We, we need our fences in the cloud. I want to be able to work on this thing no matter where I'm at. And I really feel like it needs to be less MS-DOS and more 21st century. And they have listened to us and brought the fence cloud, basically listening to the customers and trying to make sure that we get everything we need. Now we can access everything on mobile apps. You can run this right from your phones. This is optimized for mobile use. It is not technically an app, but it runs like an app straight from your phone. If you want to run this on a Mac, uh, your iPad, your tablet, whatever, you can now do that. So the beauty of CFS brought to the 21st century. And the fact that these guys were like the pioneers too. So that, that's worth saying is that you guys have been in this since before 
estimating software was cool. So you guys have been in this a long time. They've worked out a lot of bugs. And if anybody knows how to estimate fence and how to get good bills and materials so that you can go out and build the fence and not be missing parts, it's these guys. Now there's a lot of people. I saw some more over here. Let's get this. So this is the real powerhouse, is the fact that from day one, they have all these people, all their products and all their SKUs and all the part numbers already loaded, preloaded in there so that you can start using and building using these, whatever manufacturer you're tied in with. You know, if you're a Master Halco customer, they've got that. They've got Merchants Metals Library, Stevens Pipe and Steel, and that's a big deal. You don't know how much time they probably spent getting all this stuff in there to make your life easier. And this is a free service. So if you are a Fence Cloud customer and someone is missing, we will work with that supplier to get their catalog and their estimating engine in the system for you. We're not charging the suppliers and we're not charging you for that work. That just makes your life easier, our life easier, and it's a benefit to all of us in the industry. And all you have to do is add your pricing and figure out how much money you want to make. And that's the easy part. So if you're thinking about an estimating software for fence, probably look at these guys who have been doing it since before it was cool. Like literally MS-DOS, probably. Started in 1981 in Billings, Montana. The minute we got into the industry, we were looking for something that made our estimates more accurate because we knew that we were going to be missing stuff. And it's only grown from there. So the estimation that you loved in CFS is now side by side with the CRM features that you've been asking us for for so many years. Your e-signature, your calendars, your workflow boards, all of that is now available in one system. Perfect. Well, thank you, Julie, for telling us about that. Thanks for being here. All right. Well, I think that about wraps up the show. Looks like people are starting to tear down. We timed this perfectly. There was so much more here. I encourage you, if you are thinking about coming to a show, definitely come to the Finch Show in Las Vegas next year and check out everything they have. You never know what they're going to be releasing right before the show. I'm Mark with SWI. I hope you've enjoyed this. And until next time, I hope you have a good dang day.